Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Single Scoop. This week we've got a fiery hot deck with our favorite hot-headed planeswalker. That's right, Chandra Nalar. So it's Chandra Tribal mixed in there with some dragons, and we also threw some of the new alchemy cards, so you've got some digital-only spicy action. Uh, but yeah, of course you've got Chandra's Regulator. So you're gonna, and with this many Chandras, we're able to ping our opponents down a decent amount because we'll have Chandra Dress to Kill, we'll have Torch of Defiance, we'll have Awakened Inferno, and then we have dragons like Town Razor Tyrant to go ahead and burn our opponents down, also using cards like Glory Bringer, and of course our favorite six drop Inferno of the Star Mounts being uncounterable in a meta where there is a lot of hasters. So if we're able to get a Regulator and maybe like uh, Torch of Defiance, we can easily drop uh, an Inferno Titan or an Inferno of the Star Mounts pretty quick along with playing tons of other stuff from our hand. So that's the whole point, getting Chandra, getting Dragons, let's go. Do you need some new Innistrad Crimson Vow cards? Well, you can get them all from our sponsor, Card Kingdom, by heading over to cardkingdom.com slash mtgoldfish and even get a free mtgoldfish sticker. Just let them know you want one in your order notes and they will hook you up. Well, we do have a dragon. We have some Chandras. Our deck is not happy to see that hollowed fountain, but I guess there's much worse that could happen. All right, so we're going to go ahead and play Chandra's Regulator. Nine lives. Go ahead. Fight me as hard as you can. I guess we pass. All right, cool. Well, at least Chandra's Regulator, sure. Like, they're going to do this over and over. They've got some time. What's my out here? This makes it so they can't ever take damage, right? Right, right. Okay, so they can't ever take damage. Okay. You want a guy? And okay. let's go ahead and make another another card here. Pay the one, sure. Okay, let's go ahead and pay that up. So next turn, we'll be able to, like, ult two Chandras, pretty much. And we're going to go ahead and pay that. Sure. Uh, this is going to be fun. Okay, so let me see here. Uh, sure. Send that upstairs, hypothetically. Uh, does not matter. They can't take damage, so let's discard something. Drew a mountain? That's not exactly what I was looking for. Okay. So I think this is where we want to be. Want to add a ton of mana. Yes, we'll go ahead and copy that. That nets me two mana. Sure. Right. Does it matter? Send it here. Send it here. Does not matter? I just need to find a stomp. Once I can find one of my stomps, I'm good. Ever see a volcano erupt in person? Oh, two. No pressure. Study? Focus? I just ready. Okay, cool. That's exactly what I need. That's exactly what I need. So I found a stomp, right? So now I can go ahead and shock them in the face. Um, sure. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's, get let's go ahead and plus. Let's pay for that. So if I pay for the stomp here, I have to cast two spells, right? Check. One, two... Okay, cool. Now, damage can't be prevented, so what we can do is we can go ahead and send this upstairs. That did nothing. I have a total of six mana. Let's see here, what can I do? Decline, I have that, that's two mana, so I send, I can deal 10 to them. Send damage upstairs, that's not too bad. 
so we send it all upstairs. We know that all of this is going to uh, resolve. We go to combat. We get there. Woo! How about that last game, huh? Nine lives? More like irrelevant. Am I right? Oh boy, that needs to die. Yeah, we, we have to we have to get ready to kill the eventual uh cleric. Authority of consoles. Well, that's a little unfortunate, sure. Uh yeah, we'll kill the soul warden. Anyone Put a loyalty a counter. No? Since my two tokens that I have on board won't do anything. Linden. Sure. Decline. What's the downside of me letting them untap? Like, there's a lot, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and just get rid of this now. Pass. A Johnny's Pride Mate. Yeah, we'll make him go ahead and... We're not going to pay for this. Decline. We're going to make him spend their mana. Which will then allow me to go ahead and Magma Spray in response. So Noah Johnny's Pride Mate. Drew a Mountain, so that feels kind of bad. Let's go ahead and just hold on. Let's pass. Heliod. Sure. Let's see what they have for mana. They don't have anything, so we go in here, we play this, we put a counter on our Planeswalker. Yeah, sure, we'll pay that, so it puts two counters onto our Chandra. We pass back. We have the ability to copy with Regulator. Like, Regulator's kind of doing overtime here. Kind of digging this. So they just took two to the dome. A Johnny. That seems good. So they minus. Let's just go ahead and stomp. Kill a Johnny. Don't pay for this. Give them a life. Play Bone Crusher Pass. So this way, I guess, they would have to get a devotion of three in order to animate that Heliod. Kill my, kill my Chandra. That's four. That's five. Okay, there goes my Chandra. Unfortunate, but that's just the way things are gonna have to go. Okay. That's three, four. You and I are gonna take them out. Sure, you got it. I'm gonna hang back just in case they animate that, uh, that Heliod somehow. Alright, and we got there! I can't say no to this, right? Look at- the- the Regulator has been in my- my- like, has been a key part in me winning any game. It's an elf deck, I'm in trouble. I need to find concurrent, whatever. Oh, stop ramping, stop ramping, please stop ramping. Slow down! Also, give me a land deck! I need a land. They have four mana. What are the odds they have anything to do anyways with five mana currently? Please don't play Nyssa. Fudge! No way. No way that Stone Cold shuts me off. Okay. <laughs> they got us good! We're so dead, dude. You don't even know right now. This is so bad. <laughs> yeah, you got it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> GG! I believe my deck will give me lands. I have to will it into existence. No Lurus Companion, so maybe the Soul Guide Lantern, I could just play it, sack, draw a card? Who knows? We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. If I get a third land, though, we are cooking. Alright, we're cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and just play the Soul Guide Lantern. Doesn't seem like there's much for me to do against a uh, green-white deck. This is probably some form of a, whatchamacallit, Selesnia life gain, angels, yada yada yada. So Brittle Blast will be pretty essential in stopping the key parts. 
Mostly I need to stop that cleric that hits the board and makes me real sad real fast. That, right there. That's the problem. There, there they are. There's the problem, child. Interesting. I think I should do this now before they can respond with Coco. Alright, go ahead. If I can draw a fourth land, I wouldn't hate it. Let me get that fourth land. Because then I can go current and then magma spray. Which would give me a pretty clean way of dealing with uh, a majority of the opponent's problematic stuff. Like that. Man, this feels kind of bad, but maybe this is the line. We ping, we send it upstairs. Yeah. I guess we don't have to do it right right now. Oh, I've never crashed a Give a toast. I need this mana pretty bad, so I'm hoping they let me keep Chandra Dress to kill. Righteous Valkyrie time. Wow, that this is quite the righteous hand, my dude. Yeah, okay, so I, I gotta kill these now. That's it. I'm Crap, I really do need a land, though. If I don't deal with this, they play a single angel, they get like a hundred billion mana. I'm gonna go ahead and pump the Abraid. Magma spray a Valkyrie. This way Abraid can just kill the Valkyrie on its own. Looks like this might be Coco time. Johnny Strength of the Pride. Come on, give me a land. Thank it's you so much. Bucks. I have five mana at my disposal here. I think I need to sweep the board. Like, I could technically play that minus. That won't do much right now. Yeah, I gotta kill off everything. And I gotta pass. But we got rid of the most problematic stuff, which is all the angels, all the things like that. Let's get two damage in to just keep their health total low. This way I don't get caught out with, uh, like, some weird, if your life total is X or higher, nonsense. I guess so. There, There's that. We get rid of the angel. I don't know, just put on their untapped land, doesn't matter which one. One of their duels. So they're going to take two. They go down to 15 here. I'm very close to getting one of my, like, one of my big Chandras out. All right, this is definitely Coco mana. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably make two tokens, put them down six. Yeah. Settle the wreckage is precisely what I want. Because then I get more lands out of this, so hell yeah. Oh, I could have gotten more. I realize that right now. It's fine. Boo boo, big boo boo. <laughs> no so we're stacking emblems on them here. All right, so they choose to sack the land. They're back down to four mana. We got settled, but that's okay. I can live with that. Skyclave appetizer. You got it. Can you walk it off, Chandra? Let's get a 3-3 back from this. That seems good. Decline. Not going to use that. Go ahead and pass. I mean, I would love to have a sweeper. Maybe I should have done that first before. Yeah, I should have. Wrong order. I should have probably done Chandra's plus first to see what I get. And then use uh, big Chandra's minus. Angel of Vitality. Not the end of the world for us. Sure. I have enough to animate. Cool. Bye -bye. Play mana. Let's plus. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna play that. All right. So they're looking pretty close to dead here. No matter what they play, we're gonna just snipe down with a braid. Perfect. Okay. So we just we have a, a, a plethora of things we can do here. Let's go ahead and do that. Yes, I'll pay the one. And then we're going to go ahead and do this, which will then trigger twice. Oh, this is Decline. Good. So they will have three emblems on them, two shot. God, this regulator. This hand isn't Chandra regulated, but you know what? It's okay. We've got 
Oh boy, never mind. This is terrible. I don't know what we're up against, but it has blue red, meaning that we have nothing to target. Oh boy. We're up against a control deck. This isn't gonna go well. It's probably Jeskai, right? Yeah, it's probably Jess. Oh. Oh, it's the Lotus Field one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna stifle me probably or something like that. How do I survive? I've got a bunch of like slow casting dragons and stuff like that. It's probably not gonna do anything against this opponent. Uh, I guess I'll play Raise, uh, Town Razor Tyrant? Sure, Wrath of God, that's pretty good. So I have two options. I could play Chandra Plus. Keep the train going. They definitely have a Lightning Helix somewhere. I'm just gonna play Glorybringer and hit him for four. If they stack it the other way, they could technically flip his Kanta now without taking the two. But with the way it's currently stacked, I think it might be a, a tad bit late. They're down to eight. If I could draw something like a simple, I don't know. There's no one draw that gets me out of this position. Okay. They flip, they get a new land, they take two more, three, six, seven. They potentially could go Magma Opus here. Like they untap a Teferi, they go back up to 10. Magma Opus, kill Glorybringer, get a body, draw two cards. That's looking pretty good for them. I think they have to leave up the Stifle here. They untap that. That should leave them with enough mana to Wrath of God Stifle. Nice. Okay, so they take another turn after this. They're down to eight again. They have the Wrath, they have the Gideon. So now they can take as many turns as they need to, and I think we're dead here. Yeah, I think that about locks it up, because they can't lose the game. Not as long as they control a Gideon. And now they can just play like Pact of Negation, all this other stuff. They take another turn after this, why not? Uh, I think they're about to Emblem. Oh no, they minused. Okay, so they're really digging for something here. Alright, can't lose the game. Anger of the Gods. What are they looking for? Probably counter magic, like Pact or something? Alright, they're taking an extra turn. Seems good. And it looks like we'll never get to take another turn after this, right? Yeah, because they have one more turn after this. They're down to four. I think they have the engine. Because Teferi will untap either or. They just need some kind of three mana extra turn spell and we lose the game. Oh, GG's. Good game. Good game. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. We have three mana. We're one away from playing Town Razor Tyrant. We have no Chandra's, however, but you know what? That's that's just life. Hopefully the opponent isn't like a control deck or doing any any of that nonsense. It looks like they are. Dang it. And they're thought seizing. This is not gonna end well for us. Alright, there goes my Bone Crusher Giant. Pass, I guess. Let's see what they're playing. Is it rogues? Oh wait, it couldn't be rogues, right? Because I mean they would have Lurus. Oh, it's just Esper. Oh, it's Esper Reanimator. I need to draw a Soul Guide Lantern. Uh, this isn't going to end well for us. They're about to probably hit... Um, we're going to hit some pretty good cards here. Right, because they right now they have the ability to stitch your supplier, right? They they can attack, sack. That's four mana. They play. They they don't. They just need to get something in the yard, which stitcher supplier is hoping to do itself. Just miss. Cool, like that. I just need to get a town razor tyrant counter on that Phyrexian tower. That'll help significantly. Let's see what they have in hand. I mean, they have to have a threat or a bomb somewhere, right? Probably like an Ulamog or something is what they're they're holding on to. 
I would kill for a land. Come on, game. Yeah, I think I've, I've just got to go ahead and try to kill this thing now. Unfortunately, that's just the case. I'm kind of stuck on mana here. I have like 25 lands. Shouldn't be stuck this often. Can they just miss for a turn, please? But I guess they have more lands. What did they draw if not? Holy crap, you're joking me. Okay, well. No way! Did I really not hit any lands off that? That's kind of like heartbreaking. Can I find a Soul Guide Lantern before they can do something then? If I'm not going to draw lands, give me a Soul Guide Lantern. Alright, they drew another land. Feels bad. Really, not a single threat in their hand. I find that a little shocking. Holy crap, I did it. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Decline. I will use that. Focus? I just want him already. Oh boy. I'm gonna need them to not hit up a, a land plus. Okay, Shialdra Jingataxius, not the end of the world. Ashiok, still not the end of the world here. Is that really what I hit there? Get wow. Ready for the fire storm. Let me read this. So, that's fine. Go ahead. It's their turn. I have the emblem already. That's what matters the most. This Elish Norn's not the my... end. What do they have? Do they have a counter spell? This would then trade up to, like, a total of two mana. Give a toast. Watch me. Uh, we will copy that, sure. Help. Let's send the damage upstairs. I mean, I have a Brittle Blast in hand, right? That's that's the best part here. So I have a Brittle Blast in hand. This card, the Phyrexian Tower now, no longer is able to just protect their stuff. It'll serve as pretty much just a way for them to tap for what? A colorless? That's fine. I want every card in my hand right now. Stitcher Supplier is a problem. Well, that's every single copy. That's fine. Um, and then we still sacrifice this no matter what. Let's ping for two again. Up to Watch me, the dance floor. Okay, so I get to ult again next turn. It won't matter if they swing in with Stitcher Supplier, because I'll get to go ahead and Chandra again if they don't do something about it. Does that have protection from emblems? Instant, sure. Seems good. Alright, cool. It doesn't have a protection from emblems. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, cool. So I can shatter that artifact. They don't have anything. Now I get to emblem. Well, you can do better. Perfect. Okay. So Let me think. How does this play out here? I go play Chandra. I plus. That makes two counters. I send three here. Three, six. I play that. Chandra won't do anything. I think this does the most here.
All right, cool, and we got there. GG's. So we threw the deck together and I really didn't expect it to go off as much as it did. Chandra's Regulator did serious work because it was left unchecked. People probably wrote it off as a non-factor, but the fact that we were able to like double the mana from like T Torch of Defiance and double the ping and mana from Dress to Kill, even to like potentially copying uh, Acolyte of Flames minus two to make some, uh, like a, get two spells or maybe like make a ton of bodies if we wanted. There was just so much we could do along with Awakened Inferno's double emblem and con Conductive Current was sweet. It gave us the answer we needed, uh, the additional damage that we needed for like all the life gain and angel decks where they're like, kind of like they've got like X4 bodies, X5 bodies. So kind of hard to kill with just three damage spells. So that's where like you were able to go conductive current, put it on a braid, boost a braid or Chandra's Triumph or even Magma Spray or anything along those lines. So deck was fun. And I think there's actually something here. So uh, I'll definitely look to see this deck get played again. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you at the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.